Good evening everyone and welcome to Raina Mo's Designs and today we are going to be creating a design that I like to call Trumpets of Love. So if this sounds like a tutorial you would love to see, please keep watching. Okay, so these are all of the items that you will be needing to create this particular project. You'll need a pair of Pilsner glasses, which I picked up at the Dollar Tree. A three and a half inch, which is a nine centimeter globe vase from the Dollar Tree. A set of votive holders. Whatever embellishments it is that you want to use, I will be using the red ones. Now, keep in mind, these when you find them, which can be ordered online, are come in a mix of red and white, okay, or red and clear. And for permanent hold, you will use some type of epoxy. Today I'll be using the Gorilla Glue epoxy because I've run out of my um, King Dollar epoxy. When this comes with a popsicle stick and the front of the container right here is your actual mixing tray. So you're not gonna use this whole container of epoxy. And you can also use a uh, hot glue. You can use E6000 if that's a product that you enjoy for you, but for me here in Texas, I guess because of the humidity, epoxy doesn't bond glass together permanently. And this is a fixture that I actually want permanent. Now the gems you'll see, I'll do my technique with the fix all and with the uh, hot glue because I can always change my decorations, but the core piece will be one solid permanent piece. So keep on watching. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix up my epoxy. Um, and I believe I said, so I'm gonna repeat myself, when you want a permanent hold, epoxy is the way to go. You can use E6000, but here in Texas, due to the humidity, E6000 isn't a permanent hold, but epoxy always is, okay? So I know that people have asked about epoxy. I'm showing you the Gorilla Glue and how to actually mix it up. So I've popped off the top. Right here in the center, you see this tab? This is actually removable. You have to remove it because if you don't, you won't be able to push the plunger to get enough product to mix. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and this, don't lose this because this is your, gonna be your new cap. And there I said don't lose it and I just sent it flying. Thank you, baby girl. So this is gonna be the new cap for your E, not E6000, for your epoxy, okay? There's two little nibs in there so that you can plug it up so that it won't dry out. So I'm gonna go ahead and equally and evenly, so I have my thumb going across the barrel here and my fingers grasping here at the little handles and I'm just gonna put out a little bit of epoxy with a very slow, gradual, let me burp it first. That's a little bit of the nurse coming out. But you do want to get rid of all of the air if you can. Now that I have the air towards the top, I pull back on the plunger so that I could get a little bit more air in it so that I can tap the air that's inside the bottle out and then slowly I'm just going to go ahead and release the air by pushing it up with the continuous uh, pressure and you really want equal parts of part A and part B okay so once we get it to the top I'm going to go ahead and express out just enough of the product for what I think I need. I don't want to do too much and I don't want to do too little. And then I'm going to pull the plunger back, which is called aspirating it back, and go ahead and close it, okay? Now there's a slit on the side of this cap because here there's a little flap. So you want to make sure that you put the top on like you're supposed to carefully so that you have that secure. Now you mix A and B together. And it's gonna turn like a milky type color. It's actually really pretty. And there is some heat to it, but 
that's how you mix your epoxy okay now to create this particular look what I'm going to do is I'm going to place epoxy around the mouth of the bowl and you may want to take some window cleaner or an alcohol swab or a good old-fashioned q-tip with some alcohol on it to make sure that it's nice and clean that you don't have any dirt or oils so that it'll have a better adherence property and then for this I'm going to affix my tea light holder right unto the top and hold it there please give me a napkin now this is going to be a very very slim fit because it fits just perfectly and you want to set it to the side so that it can dry and then once it's dry you can come back and continue with your project so what I'm going to do is go ahead and let that finish drying or curing and then I'm going to actually take this portion of my globe that will now be, thank you, that will now have the um, candlelight, the tea light holder on top of it and I will affix it to my Pilsner glass and I'll do the same thing on the opposite side which will be easier because you'll be putting flat bases along a flat base so I'm starting with this side because it's more difficult so when I come back I'll show you the next step okay so I've gone ahead and I've affixed the second candlelight tea light holder onto the bottom of the Pilsner and now I'm going to add some epoxy to the rim of the tea light holder and affix the globe and then the next step will be me affixing the second Pilsner onto the top of this other tea light holder that is already attached to the globe. So when we come back, I'll show you exactly how that looks. I'm just working consistently and as quickly as I can because of the epoxy in as fast a pace as I can but being careful because you don't want it to be really sloppy okay so once you have everything epoxy to each other this is the gorgeous piece that you will be creating which is very elegant now you could remember that when you make a design, whatever your taste is, that's what you create to. So if you wanted to use a metallic spray paint, such as the looking glass spray paint, you could make any pieces of this mirrored effect if you wanted to. If you wanted to spray paint the middle portion gold or silver or rose gold, you could do that too. When you're designing, the sky's the limit. Your imagination is the only thing that limits you. So for me, um, I'm going to be using the red gemstones along with my hot glue and fix-all. And then you know I'm going to add some bling. So I'll be speeding through with time lapse just to show you some of the things that I do. And when I come back, I'll show you the final look. And so, so far our design is coming along and we're bringing in the red aspect to go with the love and the heart. So now it's time to glamorize and blingify. So this is where you choose when you create this particular project, what type of bling is it that you wanna use? Do you wanna use the diamond wrap that we normally use? Do we want to use actual rhinestones? Because I happen to have leftover rhinestones. I have this four strand rhinestone strip uh, in one yard in silver. Then I have a gorgeous one in yellow gold. And I also have a two strand rhinestone piece. So, 
you know, the sky's the limit with your imagination. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with these gemstones that I have here. And when I come back, I'll show you the final look. Okay, everyone. This is she. It's she. <laughs> Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. My all-time favorite. I mean, definitely a project that needs to be shared. Definitely a project that needs to be recreated. If you do recreate this particular trumpet vase or my trumpet of love vase, please tag me in it. Show me the pictures, send me the pictures, text me the pictures, email me the pictures, just get me the pictures because this is absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, definitely one of my all-time favorite creations. She is absolutely beautiful. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this quick and easy DIY that was relaxing. Definitely give us a thumbs up and comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. But most importantly, have an absolutely wonderful evening. Bye.